Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Are you having a good time? Are you having a fun time? Oh, no, stop that. <laughs> are you having a good fun time? Can you share this? <laughs> uh, oh, that. <laughs> It's playing again, and yeah, someone's asking if I could share this playlist. Uh, I, I don't think all of these are on the playlist, but most of them are. This is my uh, Best of the Beach Boys. If you don't know, I'm a big fan of the Beach Boys. With a name like the Beach Boys, they get kind of a bad rap, but like, holy fuck, those vocals. <laughs> if, if you know anything about like singing... Which sounds weird, because I guess most people know a little bit about singing. But, like, you know, just, just actively listen to, like, any Beach Boy song. And it's, like, they, they've got, like, a six-part harmony. They're doing, like, multiple voice things at once. It's, it's, like, crazy. And it kind of baffles me that something like that never really took off in pop music again. Like, everyone has a little bit of harmony, but I'm surprised that, like, rock and roll didn't really take off in that direction. Like, the Beatles kind of did some stuff like that, but even they didn't take it as far. This stream bought to you by Vocal Things. And yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, well, hello, first of all. Hope you're doing well. But we did, uh, we did all Beach Boys songs today. Because they wrote a lot of songs about cars, and we're still on Gold Pride. Although all their songs, or not all of their songs, but especially early on, a lot of their songs are like two minutes max. So instead of just playing two four-minute songs, we did four two-minute songs. We did a uh, Little Deuce Coop, 409, Fun Fun Fun, and I Get Around. All, all songs about cars, or driving cars, or being fast. The Beach Boys are really interesting, because they, like, when they started off, they were, like, surf music. So they have a lot of songs that, just, that are just, like, aimless love songs, or, or, like, I like to drive in my car. And then later on, they got, like, more experimental and started doing a little more profound, like, poetic songs that are like absolutely amazing even by modern standards but at the time it was like all their fans who just wanted two minute surf songs were like what's with all this artsy hippie crap and all the hippies that would have really liked this experimental stuff were like the beach boys that that band that makes the songs about the cars i'm not listening to them <laughs> so they ended up doing really poorly at the time but um, if you you look back on it, it's just a, just some of some amazing stuff. Mm. I got here too late for little Deuce Coop. That is a good one. And yeah, I'm, I'm running a little bit late too. That's why I'm still eating a quick dinner. I've done this before, but it's always funny each time to have people be like, "Hey, can you guess what this is?" What am I eating for dinner? Meat. Sweet potato fries. I wish. Yep, the real the real Legos now. Yeah, this is spam. Chopped up spam, fried in a deep fryer. Looks like sweet potato fries. It tastes like a little combination between uh, beef jerky and bacon. Although this is turkey spam, so it tastes kind of like turkey and bacon, like turkey, jerky, and bacon mixed together. It's pretty good. Are you calling me a counterfeit Lego? I mean, I'm not saying it, but I'm certainly thinking it loudly. Ah uh, yes, and if you're curious, I uh, I am technically spamming chat right now. Behold. Mm. 
I pan fry sliced spam with a mix of butter, powdered sugar, and cinnamon. I don't like meat mixing like meat with sugary stuff. It just never tastes good with me. Green screen and spam. Extreme duel. Yep, we've got the newest thing. It's um both players start with Nibiru. Just in their hand. Uh, I wonder, did they, uh, let's see, event info. Did they change the limited or forbidden list? Doesn't look like it. Just standard, but with everyone has a rock. It's just the regular list, yeah. I feel like this could work if you if you got rid of like. Oops, dropped some stuff. Ugh. I feel like this might be interesting if you got rid of all the like slow paced decks. Like I like the idea that like everyone has to play a combo deck, but everyone also has Nibiru. So you got to see how far you can get without like triggering the Nibiru. It's the Labyrinth event. Yeah, that's what I expected. Which is why I'm not playing it. Okay. So what we need to do... I was supposed to do this yesterday, and I spent too long trying to get everything ready for this weekend. It's been it's been kind of difficult uh, recovering from all the the wisdom tooth surgery and like getting back on. Just trying to get the um, the ladder climb ready. It is uploaded. I still need to make thumbnails tonight for it. And I had to get that ready and the, the next deck dev. And I got that ready and I uploaded it to Patreon and I forgot to set it to go live this morning. It's supposed to be 24 hours early for the people on Patreon. Fortunately, someone in the chat, and I didn't see who, they mentioned it. And so I was like, oh shit. And I went over there and I turned it live. So you're not getting it completely early. But you know, if you'd rather watch the deck devastation challenge than me, you could go watch that now if you're a $5 patron. Um, and tomorrow you'll be getting the, um, you should be getting the, uh, the ladder climb a day early. Right now the idea is the deck dev on Friday and the ladder climb on Saturday. And both of those are a day early for the patrons, the $5 patrons. As for this, um, we're going to try something, chat. I had an idea. Huh? <coughs> uh, okay, gold pride. We're no longer punks, what can I say? Oh, uh, we'll have to craft another one of these. Sure, why not? Uh, what is the crowd goes wild? Reveal one in your hand, add one with a different name, then you can apply the following. Special summon one from your hand, but lose life points. I guess it's worth playing one of those since we can search it. Oh, I still have the field spell in there, thank you. Uh, let's see. That came out of nowhere. Special summon one gold pride from your hand or graveyard. And then your opponent can summon one. Why would I, why would I want to do that? Pedal to the metal. Target a gold pride. Gain is 500. Can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. But it cannot activate its effects.
Do we still need e-telly? No. Thank you. Um, I don't think we want to play this. Target one gold pride you control or one gold pride in your graveyard. Except itself. Return it to the hand. If your opponent controls a monster with higher attack than your life points, banish this card and one gold pride from your graveyard. Special summon one other gold pride from your extra deck that banished that banished monster's name. Sure. We'll try one. Um... BM or B Mondang. BMO Dang? BMO Dang? Either way, thank you for the prime hype. I appreciate it. Can Ply Pride play like D Shifter or some kind of banishment? I mean, probably. Should I run Shifter? Um, let's do a little poll. Should I run Shifter? Yes, Shifter. No, Shifter. You got two minutes. Uh, let's see. That doesn't really help us anymore. We've still got eight, nine. Yeah, we can still go into 11s. We can go 11s, we can go sixes, we can go eights. Um, do we still run jam, dragon drive? Yeah, probably, but we take this out. We'll put in a Nitro Head. Uh, do we play multiple Nitro Heads? We need more ways to lower our life points, chat. We've got this, and we've got maybe this, but there's gotta be something else, right? Shifters winning eight to five. Lullaby of Obedience, Frankenderp. Huh. We want to keep the one of Ghost Ogre? Probably not. And we probably don't want, actually, we probably want that and then like, uh, what would it be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Instant fusion, instant fusion is bad. <laughs> Garbage Lord? Uh, what about that Neos card that's like Instant Fusion? Is 
Uh, which one is that called again? Ready Fusion? No, not that. There's another one. Instant Contact? Special summon one level 7 or lower elemental hero or neo spatian from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. And then I can make Barone. Uh, so we need a neo spatian uh, fusion. Flame Wingman works. Playing Earth Machines because of you? I'm sorry. Oh wait, someone said... Yeah, this does the same thing without taking up extra deck slots. Like if we just want a level seven, this lowers our life points, gets us a level seven, and then if we've got Leon or any of our hand trap tuners, we could just summon it and make a Barone. Yeah, Upstart Goblin does technically work. I'm just not sure if I want to give my opponent life points. Droll is really popular. Yeah, that's a good point. We went full gold pride. We're trying. We're trying, buddy. Yeah, because I'm trying to... The, the thing is, is like... All we really want to do at the end of the day is resolve start your engines. So, if we could just like normal summon a carry and get this, that's good enough for like a first turn play. Although we have no way to like bait, bait out Ash or whatever. Because just, just this by its own is like removal that goes into... Leon, and then Leon gets out the pinballer, and then pinballer gets us. So that's like four removals on its own from one card. If we just play that. So we can get low to the ground instead of trying to play all those like tuners and do a whole, or all those uh, like garnets and do a bunch of special summons. Like, I think we'll be better off. The problem is, we have to be able to... We have to lower our life points, otherwise we can't use Leon. And it's not once per turn, true. D shifter might not be good. Worried about a brick on that recursion. Yeah, let's let's get rid of it for now. We can add it in later if we really need it, but we already got 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're playing 14 hand traps.
Did we already try a 50 card deck? Yeah. Or like, a, it was like a 48 card deck, but close enough. I want to have nine ways to increase my life points. Uh. How about Fenrir? We want this because we want to pay our life points. We want to have lower life points. Dogwood? Wait, Dogwood gives us more life points. Yeah, we need like a reverse Dogwood. <laughs> You're not using the punk? I tried that the first time. It's too weak to uh, max C. Dogwood increases, yeah. We need to have lower life points. I mean, I could, um... What's it called? I could play chicken game. Piri Resi Map. Now there's thinking outside the box. One monster with zero attack. So I can use this to add a hand trap. Um, until the end of the next turn, you cannot activate the monster's effects. Can't use it from hand. I can normal summon it, though. Why do I have four of this? Search it, and then normal summon Ghost Ogre, and you could use its effect on the field, and it's still live. Pop her up. Send three cards from your hand to the graveyard, then draw that many cards, then special summon that many monsters from the hands with different names that are performed pals. Lose a thousand for each card in your hand. The problem is this sends three cards as cost. So if they ash this, I'm, ba I'm down in a bad way. Were the punks too bricky? Yeah. Up to three. True. Pay 2,000. Declare one monster name. Yeah. If they give the ash to my hand, I have an ash in hand. If they summon it, then I have a level three and any other level three makes the Ixy and I lose 2000. That might just be crazy enough to work.
I'd have to craft two more, though. Do I want to craft two more of these? What do I remove, too? Probably some of the hand traps. How to obtain? They're in the legacy packs. I mean, let's see. Not even a single ultra rare. Maybe they're in these last uh, 12. Nope. Maybe they're in these last two. Nope, but I did get a bubonic vermin. Look at that little guy. You can play it as a thrust target. True, true. Well, my spam is cold. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll do this this. We'll just play one of each of the sisters. I'm not sure which is better. Or, right, you know what? Let's let's just go ahead and settle on uh, Ghost Bell. Ghost Bell has been very kind to us. And then we can thrust. And put in a... Um, of talents and if we go first we can set a start your engine or an imperm Three thrust and a 40 card deck is going to be a huge brick? I don't think so. Um, I never wanted to craft fucking upstart goblin. <laughs> Especially in droll format. There's nothing worse than like upstart... Then they droll and you can't do anything. What about playing droll itself? I have enough hand traps. Yeah, we need people asking about the thing about hmm. I guess this is still a starter. Like, we need to lower our life points. We're going to have so many of these in hand, but like if we summon this this will search a Takatomborg that might, um, that didn't help at all. There we go. That might fiend an ash or something, even if they ash it or valor it or whatever. We could still normal summon any of our level threes and make a six or a rank three. 
And even though this doesn't get its best effect if our life points aren't lower, like we can't Foolish Burial something, it does still get us to... No, see, that's the thing, right? Like, we let's say we Terra Top, Terra Top into Taka Tomborg, uh, get Carry. Well, I guess we can Normal. But if they Ash this, then we can't Normal. And that's the thing is we get... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, because this gets us... No, this gets us the spell. Okay, I had it... For some reason, I thought this searched carry, and then carry gets us the spell, but it's it searches the spell. Spell gets us carry. Carry gets us the trap. Okay. So, yeah, getting to the Ixie is good. And then we put a Barone in here. Baller on the floor. Uh, there's probably a better... Yeah, if we're not playing the... There's a better level 8 we could make. Or, like, another level 6. Is there another good, like, level 6 synchro? Or, statistically, we're going to have... We already got two level 3 Ixies that we can make. Coral Dragon. Coral Dragon's a tuner. Uh, this is a wind. Yeah, so we can't make that. Stardust draws a card. Level 2 tuner, but we don't have any level 2s. We only have 3s. Could make fucking Red Wyvern. Uh, cause this is one second. You can target... During the opponent's main phase, quick effect, synchro summon one using a gold pride you control. <coughs> so we can, we can make things other than gold prides during our opponent's turn. I just don't think there's any level sixes that do anything on summon. Like, there's this, but its only effect is treated as a tuner if we're using a 3 and a 3. We could make Desert Locust, but they get to choose what card they destroy. This can destroy a card, but we've already got it destroy, so I'd want something else. Brionic. Brionic doesn't do anything on summon. I'm looking for something I can make during the opponent's turn. I mean, I guess Powered and Zectron saves us for a turn. Like, that might be good. I don't think anything else does something on summon. Do you still have a water for Dragite? Yeah, carries a water. Vulcan the Divine. Huh. That works. This is also on my turn. I can bounce back my better luck next time and use it again. I thought Metaphys Horus was only in a gate if you use like a pendulum monster. Um, effect monster. Target one other monster and negate its effects. Okay. I think I'm going to try Vulcan for now. Everything else we could still make. We may want to switch out the Risen. 
Um, I really like this if we get like a Leon and a ter Terror Top and a Carry. Uh, this is basically Ascendant of Thunder plus any of our tuners. And this is Leon plus, um, where is it at? Nitro Head. It's fun catching these revisions and hearing cards I've never heard of. The advantage of playing this game for like 10 years. What's the lullaby for? We call Ash, it lowers our life points and either gets us a hand trap or puts a card on the f level three on the field. Yeah, Trishalon is like Leon and two carries or Leon, a carry and a tear top. Which we've gotten surprisingly a few times. Just looking quickly at the new ones I don't recognize. Make sure there's anything else. Non-tuner psychics, we don't have non-tuner psychics. Combat wheel. First time this would be destroyed, it is not. During the opponent's battle phase, discard one card. This one gains attack equal to half of the attack of all other monsters you control. Huh. How thematically appropriate. <laughs> uh, did I get one free pull? No, I've already done this one. Okay. Car. Okay. Pure gold pride. I'm just gonna call it pure gold. MK3. more than two Trishalas, maybe a Link 2. Oh, we've got two Link 2s. The Gold Pride one and Mascarena. Okay. I think we're going to try this one. Let me get my notes up. Well, someone's pinging me. All right. Uh, do, do, do. Session two. All right. Need to go back. Uh, is there any other deck we can we can delete? I feel like I shouldn't have this many decks. Oh, I'm 32 out of 35. Okay. I thought I was 34 for some reason. All right. Konami Carp Month? Possibly. All right, here we are, stream number two. And uh, after that first stream, I, things needed to change up. We needed to, to make a change. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. All right, here we are, stream number two. Trying this again. Uh, uh, I was gonna be like, if you weren't here last time, but the people watching will be uh, watching, you know, on the ladder climb, so they'll be here. All right, here we are, stream number two, a fresh day and a fresh chance to see if we can climb our way out of Diamond 5. Not doing too good so far. 
But we sat down and brainstormed another variant of the deck, which I'm calling Pure Gold. Uh, almost had it. I was here, high past me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we are, stream number two, a fresh day, which means a fresh start. Time to go with this again and see if we can take it from a different angle. You know, that first stream didn't go that well, so we're gonna try to switch things up. Uh, most people have said this is a bad idea, but I think it might just have a chance. We're playing pure gold. We have taken out the punk engine. Because the thing about the punk engine is that it was the source of most of the garnets. That was why our deck was so big, and because it was so big, we couldn't consistently see either our openers or our hand traps. We were getting a lot of messy hands, and that just wasn't working in, in this kind of format. You know, in a format where everyone's playing Max C, and everyone has a bunch of hand traps, trying to play a big combo deck that makes like eight negates, it just doesn't really work unless you've got like all the one card starters and the ability to play through stuff. Uber Super Slaw, thank you for the 28 months, year and a half streak. We've rejected anarchism, yeah. Okay. I think I know how I'm gonna take this now. One more try. Take six. All right, here we are, stream number two, a fresh day, which means it's a fresh chance to try to drag our way out of Diamond 5. Things have not been going great so far, but I'm hopeful. I've got some new ideas, I've got some new things we can try, and that includes pure gold. We're gonna try Gold Pride without the punks. Because the punks were the biggest source of all those garnets that were kind of causing our deck to be inflated. Uh, I think between Max C and just the hand trap format we're in, trying to play a big, like, high ceiling combo deck that can make, like, eight negates, this isn't really going to work. Not unless you can consistently get it started and play through disruption. So instead, we're doing something that's much more low to the ground. We've got a lot more hand traps in here. And then we've also got just like all the punk cards. All these are extenders as long as we can lower our life points or make our way into a rank three Ixy. I'm not quite sure at this moment which one is better tactic. If we should try to lower our life points with cards or just try to make a rank three as fast as possible. So we're going for both. We're playing a Terra Top engine, three Terra Top, one Taka Tomborg. This can allow us to make the, uh, the chariot carry without using our normal summon. And then we've also got three Ascendant of Thunder. It's a level seven, you can summon by paying 3,000 life points. So we summon this, instantly gets a big beater on, on board, and then it opens up, turns on all of our gold pride stuff. And then if we have any of these level three tuners in hand or a copy of Leon, we can also use those two to make bar on the floor and just like, you know, two summons, get a negate, that allows us to play through Nibiru or whatever else we might have. We're also trying one Lullaby of Obedience. This is pay 2,000 life points, declare a monster card name. Your opponent looks at their deck, chooses one card of that name if they have it, and they can either add it to your hand or put it on the field. And we're gonna be calling Ash Blossom pretty much exclusively. It's the second most played card in the game. Most likely it's going to be in our opponent's deck. If they add it to hand, great, we've got a free Ash Blossom. If they put it on the field, that plus any three lets us go into our rank three Ixy. Uh, I don't really want to craft three of these to check. Uh, so we might add more. We might add thrust to search this. We're just trying the one for now. Uh, there's also a chance that we could try something like a chicken game or upstart goblin. But those are also URs that I really don't want to craft because I feel like they're not going to be useful in a lot of decks. But we'll see. We'll see. We certainly have the dust for it if we want to. In addition to that, we're also playing a, a new gold pride, Nitro Head. This one's pretty neat. It basically, during the standby phase, summons a token to your opponent's field that they can't use as Ixy material. I'm sorry, can't use as Link material. And then, at, as a quick, and then at quick effect speed, you can destroy that token 
and any card adjacent to it, monsters or spell traps. So it basically puts a bomb on their field that you can blow up whenever you feel like, which is kind of neat. It's also a eight star, so that plus like Leon or any of our level three tuners also lets us go into uh, Psychic and Punisher. We're still playing this as a big payoff. In addition to that, we're now playing three better luck next time because it's now a starter. It lowers our life points. We're playing three start your engines because the whole point is to get to this. If we can get to this card by itself, even if we have nothing else, this represents like three monster removals. Uh, if we can get to this plus something else, if we can lower our life points, then it's a fourth one. And being able to replicate this, do it over and over again, makes it a little bit more powerful. And we're playing like three carry, three roller baller, so that no matter what we have, we should be able to like get into something that can do a disruption. And who knows, maybe we'll add another nitro head in there as well. We're also playing this other trap. It's not good, but it's like another search target if we've already got this one. And it does, it does some funny stuff. I think if we can resolve it, it'll be really neat, but we'll see when we get into it. Um, and as for the extra deck, it's mostly the same. We just took out the punk stuff. We've got another level six synchro that bounces when it's summoned. So if they can't be destroyed, instead of making Leon, we can make this. We've got the gold pride nitro blaster, which is their link monster. And also the, uh, the nitro head pilot. It's weird. This is the only one where the pilots, the extra deck monster. It takes two gold prides with different levels. Target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and then if your life points are lower, destroy all cards in the adjacent monster zones and spell trap zones. So, it's a pretty big removal if we can get it. 2300, not bad, but not the most effective thing, and not something that we can make or use during the opponent's turn. It's just on our field. So we've got that, we've got that, and I think that covers just about everything. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I mean... We started with what I thought was like the most effective strategy and that did absolutely terribly. So at this point, it's like, we're already losing. We might as well lose and try to have some fun. So let's jump into it and see how pure gold reeks on the format. All right, let's go ahead. Zero, 55, uh, Dawn of the Second stream plus deck version three. Got it in one take, yeah, it clears Baguska. I got any Arby's gift cards? No, I pulled the rest of them today. Also, thank you, Novoxis, for the seven months. Sounds like a slice of fried gold. And thank you, CJ, for the prime hype. I appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and take this in. Let's make me small. Boop, 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 boop. Pure gold. Hi, 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 oh, hi, hi, uh. I'm going second. Oh no. I don't want to go second, chat. I want to go foist. Oh, hello, Takatomborg. Well, if this ash goes hard, we might be good. Well, fuck. Uh, yeah, fuck you. Fuck. Ha ha. Good luck, I'm playing all bad cards. Take whatever you want. <laughs> Fuck. They recognized that the trap was actually good. Also, when did I switch to these sleeves? I thought I had car-based sleeves.
Am I the only person who's pulled a Max C without crafting it? No. I'm sure someone else has. I got my Royal Ash without crafting it. It was like in the first uh, couple Master Packs I opened. Just call it here. Yeah, Tear is really popular with people stuck in low diamond. Oh, I forgot to change the sleeves. That was just a <laughs> false start. All right, once again, this ash is the only thing I've got. If they don't have a starter, this should stop them. Sword Soul? Ah, uh, they already had the Taiya. Do they have a discard for long one? I mean, I guess we'll find out. At least they don't get a draw. Moye to the graveyard? Do they have some way to bring Moye back? Yes. So two level eights. They've got the Taya in hand. So if they've already got the long one, I'm gonna be facing down three, three synchros and I'm not sure I could beat that. Especially not when I got the like awful trap in my hand. Well, that's unfortunate. A monster negate and a spell negate. And they have strategists. Long one will work because it'll lower my life points. True! Actually, I might have this, depending on what they make. If they make the, the evil long one or the Chi Chow, I no wait, not the evil long one. No, I'm screwed either way. Unless I drew draw another gold pride.
Anyone speak Japanese? What's their name? They're excited about it, whatever it is. Are they like locked into worms or something? Chinese, is it? Oh, there they go. Took them a moment. Yeah, they just make Barone. Uh, I'm gonna have to need something good to get past this. I'm trying to think of what, what I have. Oh, and you have the blackout too, or the imperm. Uh, why are you activating Dragite? I guess you can reveal a rock. You wanna bounce yourself? For fun. Just in time, buddy! Oh, uh, let's see. Activate carry. Well, at least they're leaving it on the field. Ball and uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. guess I just gotta try it and hope that they don't go into Barone de Four. Target one, gold pride to control, or one in your graveyard. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You can only use each effect once per turn. All right, well, this might actually get me out of this, maybe. Unless they, like, black out in the battle, like, black out in the end phase. Okay, so we activate this. We, uh, what is this? Do, 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 target. Banish this and one from your graveyard. Okay, so I need to use this to get Captain Carry back to my hand.
It's a spell trap or effect. Yeah, so they can negate it in the graveyard. Let's go! Yep. want a card. Let's see if we can do anything going first. Maybe that'll do something. Watch, now we'll draw like all hand traps. No, this is actually really good. Alright, let's special summon Terra Top. Hello there. Give me the Taka Tomborg. Howdy, howdy. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this. Add a card. We're going to add the Nitro Booster. Because that will lower our life points. Then we can Special Summon the Tomborg. We can go ahead and make... Cherry O'Carry. Activate. Uh, maybe I should have made the, the other one. Uh, reveal one gold pride, add one with a different name, then apply. I guess we get this for next turn. I don't know why. I put this as like an alternate thing, but like this is just better, isn't it? I guess it's another... Yeah, we'll get it. Yeah, I probably should have made Cicada King. Send a card from the deck to the graveyard. Yeah, we're going to put the baller. Then we're going to activate this. We can get the trap. They got something they can do. Uh, baller is an earth. We've got a wind, so they can't... They can't be doing, let's see, it can't be a uh, Bestial because I don't have the right cards in the graveyard. It can't be Nibiru because I've only done one, two, three, four summons. Labyrinth, probably? Uh, either way, I think we still do this. Normal summon this. Let's go ahead and make the Cicada King. That'll be another negate. And then we'll special summon the Nitro Head. Then we set two and end the turn. This will return to our hand. Or the extra deck, rather. We'll get our final carry out. And then we'll draw a card. Hopefully a hand trap. Nope. <laughs> but now we got two starters. Yeah, it's just furniture. Maybe I should have saved the cold by in my hand. Just gotta hope they don't also have the clock. Okay, it doesn't look like they have the clock.
Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. During your opponent's main phase. Okay, so I think what we want to do is we're just going to summon this here. Give them a token. See what their token. There you go. A free present from me to you. Ah, oh, the field spell. That sucks. And then they can summon that. Uh, okay. It can't be destroyed while they have the thing. Shit. They still put it over here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I think to stop them from getting another trap, we activate the called by in response. And that also stops the Torby from coming back. Yeah, there's no face down card, so I will be able to destroy this, assuming they don't bounce it back to their hand. Okay, good. I can still activate this. Unfortunately, I think they could just destroy the, um... The, the Leon, and then I can't do anything. But at least this will be gone, and this will be... Oh, they can activate it. Response to my traps, too! Fantastic! Please don't hit Leon. Please. He's just a little horsey boy. He can't do anything to hurt you. Hit Nitro Head. It's got more attack. It's a big thing. It's a level 8. Aren't you afraid of the Nitro Head? Or maybe my hand. I've got some spooky stuff in there. Who knows what it could do? They're reading. <laughs> My arch nemesis. Fuck. And it doesn't resolve. Shit. Well, maybe I can do stuff this time. No. Because, I mean, they're just going to, with the field spell and big welcome, they just get to, like, pop three cards for fun.
Oh, they destroyed the wrong one. Will that be all that we need to take this on? Maybe? Possibly? I can only hope. I mean, they've still got like a million back row. And the clock. Tick tock. Well, all right, we're on four losses in a row, but we, we drew our lullaby of obedience, so we could try this out. Hi there, Rain. Uh, Ash Blossom. There you go. Give it to me. Or summon it. Either way. Yeah, I knew it. You gotta have it. Come on. Fork it over. I want it. You get to choose, hand or field. Field or hand. Yep, they put it on the field, all according to Kaiku. Let's go ahead and activate Captain Carry. I'm a captain, woo! Go ahead, and I guess we get the other one. Because we've already got the one. It's not once per turn, so if we have two, we can activate both of them. But we shouldn't need to, so let's just try this one, I guess. And then we can make... This... Go ahead and get the uh, better luck next time. Uh, send a card to the graveyard. Yeah, we'll send the baller. Uh, no, we don't need to activate that. Let's get this. What do we add? Just another carry, so... Oh, wait, Nitro Head. And we take a lot more damage. Okay, special summon the Nitro Head. Set. We set. I think we just summon Rollerballer so we, like, have it, right? And then we end our turn. Resolve this. You can have your Ash back. Let's go ahead and get a carry out of the deck. And then we get to draw a card. Come on, Hand Trap. No, it's this again. This is like decent as a starter, but I really just, uh, I don't know. We'll see, if anything gets removed, it's probably this, but I feel like the whole idea is just not working very well. I don't know, we've also been getting weird hands and kind of bad matchups. Well, we gotta give it some time. Four losses is not enough. Uh, okay, yeah. Here you go. The one thing that's kind of neat about this is that because you give them a token, now they can't evenly you, and they can't, um... 
imperm you. So if they have either of those and they were saving them for your turn, they cannot because token. Pot of prosperity, all right. We're getting some precious information. Spirit, in perm, exo sister, spirit, evenly that they can't use, shifter that it's too late for. Oh, they got evenly anyway. Why would you get evenly? You cannot the evenly. End of the main phase? All right. I don't, I don't think they know, chat. I think they lack critical information. <laughs> Why did you put that there? Yeah, it's after the main phase. You can't even melee now. Goodbye. Another one. Maxi. And then we'll go ahead and start your engines. Vroom, vroom. Goodbye, Martha. I'll remember you in therapy. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, Leon. Unfortunately, we draw, drew the third Leon off the Maxi, but it's fine. Um. No, I don't think we need to. Yeah, we're good. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I think what we're going to do is just be extra safe. I didn't activate the Leon effect, so now we can make fucking pep. Put a little pep in their step. Uh, and then we can roller baller. Time to be a baller. We'll use this and this. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta confirm. Okay, this two and this confirm. Time to be ballin'. Activate. Now nah, I'm good. Oh uh, yeah, we're still good. You go here. Uh, you go here. You have been absorbed into the ball. Pray that I do not absorb more. And there we go! That's the see, the deck can work as long as they play a deck from like a year ago and we get to go first and they make a big mistake, you know, then we're then we're good. <laughs> uh dual. 20 versus Exo Sister. When I say a year ago, I meant they got their newest support a year ago. Labyrinth got their newest support last week. Not, I'm playing like 14 hand traps and I'm consistently getting like one. And it ain't gonna help here. At least they got no Morganite. You know, for fun.
Uh, yeah, I guess we just normal summon Terror Top. Um, sure, let's search Takatom board. Crack down. Deck thinning. Macro, okay. Yeah, you can macro the evenly, or the you can ash the macro because it summons Helios, the primordial sun. Fifteen. My life points are lower. They're only helping me. Better luck next time. Uh, okay, let's try Leon. Leon's got some amount of attack. Judgment. All right. I guess we get another Leon. Because that can beat over everything. Next turn. Another hand trap. Okay, third time's the charm. Surely they don't have another solemn judgment, right? Eh. We did it! We have unlocked the shock! Okay, so we can special talk a Tomborg because we got another level three. We can 18, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can special summon Rollerballer. And then we can make the biggest boy. The Chungi Krungus. Time to put a little pep in their step, shall we, chat? Uh, you could can target one monster you control. Okay, I don't have one yet, but... The next turn, I can! Hopefully they don't play the Kaijus. Or I guess Moon Mirror Shield without this.
Link summoning. Zen mains. Wind up Zen mains. They're like, I'll crash and I'll take the damage and I'll be lower and then I'll be able to pop you in main phase too. Does it do it? Would they have enough? Fifteen minus forty two, yeah. Shit. They're going to have 13 left. The Zeus Caboose. I can't believe this deck of everything. Ugh. Okay. Special summon the Terra Top. Oh. Uh, Normal summon the ghost bell. Do I have anything? Yeah, I think I have to Zeus. Unless they have a solemn judgment, this should get me out of this. Okay, we attack with the fortune tune. Main phase two. If they have anything, they would have used it by now. I could wait until next turn. Defense mode, okay. Setting a card, all right. End phase. All right, moment of truth. Do they have anything that stops this? They didn't have a thing, chat! Not a gosh darn ding dang thing! In a soul release, they set the inspector border. To attack position. Gotta hope they don't have like battle fader now. Let's go. Zeus for game. Oh, it's so weird. You know, I was I was about to say when this started, like, why would you play stun? This strikes me as the kind of deck that, that people play when they don't want an interactive or interesting game. But I'll be damned if that was that was intense, you know? When you're trying to overcome a very difficult problem, every once in a while those games could be interesting. But just so many times, it's like, no, if they, if they just had another solemn judgment, I would have I would have been dead. What were they playing? Did they have other out? Yeah, they were playing like three judgment. They were playing the moon mirror shield. 
two time tearing Morganite. If they had gotten like any of these earlier, if they had gotten the fossil Dyna, it's just fortunate for me that they were playing so many um, graveyard removal things. It didn't bother me all that much. Whew, close one. Dual 21. The one Golgonda. Just one. I can't believe they used their extra deck. Can Ash Goddess of Sweet Revenge, yeah. It's a pity you can't Ash Time Tearing Morganite. Alright. Going second. Against a cat. Meow. But at least I got two hand traps this time. It's better than the one hand trap we've been getting. It's kind of what we want to see. I may have to go into the hyper geometric calculator again and be like, you know, what do I need? What are the chances I can draw two hand traps? That's what I consistently want to do. Dia Bell Star. Uh, yeah, that's fine. My hope, right, is that they'll, yeah, send that off to get the Dia Bell Star. Dia Bell Star gets the Sinful Spoils, and then when they use that, I can use the Ash there, and they won't get a peek at my extra deck while I'm at it. Oh, Subversion, so you already had the other one. Interesting. Uh, no, no, no. Not today. Did you pick the wrong spell trap? I feel like you don't want to do that for any meaningful reason. Oh, they're just trying to use something so they can draw. I guess it's still... Yeah, it's fine. I guess it still can be used even in the back row. Okay, so they probably got hand traps and stuff. But we're in a pretty good position from here. We can... Speedroy Terra Top. Toppa, toppa, toppa. Max C. You know what? That's fine, actually. I think. Wait, no. I want to lower my life points. Uh, yeah, we use this while we can. Yeah, I was thinking for a second, because I'm like, I could just normal summon the carry, but I've already got the trap. I really need the spell, and there we go! You open two hand traps, you use them right- I didn't even have to use the second one. That time, just one hand trap was enough. Yeah, I don't know if anyone wants to do me a favor and go look at the hypergeometric calculator. How many hand traps do you do you need to have like a 60% chance of opening two of them?
All right, here, I'll just do it real quick. The Yu-Gi-Oh! probability, yeah. I guess they're, they just have it there. Yu-Gi-Oh! calculator. That's life points. Probability. Okay, so we've got a 40 card deck size, opening hand of five, and we have, what do we got currently? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We got 12 hand traps, and we want to open at least two, two or three. We got a 45% chance. So if we, we get rid of this, I guess we'd have to get rid of this as well. Maybe two and one? No, because this is like our starter. Uh, what if we just increase it to 13? 49% chance. Do we really need three ballers? Yes. Because we want to be able to get it off of start your engines. We need three I don't know, I haven't we haven't drawn the ascendant yet. I'm not sure how good it is. Is the pirate girl water? Yes. I wonder if I increase it to like 42 and then I'm playing. Oops. 42 with 15 hand traps goes to 54%. So, Ghost Mourn. And then we can do like Ghost Ogre. Okay, so let me make sure. 42 cards, hand size 5, 15 hand traps. Then our chance to open at least two of them is 54%. Chance to open at least one is 85%. Feel like Gamma is better than Mourner, but then we increase. Let's see. And we'd go to like 43. Uh, makes us 2% less likely. Uh, the thing especially about this is we don't really have... Oh yeah, it deals damage. I don't want that. We'll try Gamma again. Valor, I don't like Valor in this format. Yeah, the one Garnet. The other thing about all the Ghost Girls is that because they're level 3, they, um...
the cache engine in here like they do with Snake Eyes? Probably not. If you're using Excel Stardust, I don't want to play that just for Gamma. Just for two cards out of 50. That's the thing is we need level three so we can make our Ixies. Teleport for the Ogre. I don't think that's really worth it just for the one target. Especially because if we draw, if we draw like emergency teleport in the end phase with this, or we draw it, um, you know, going where we're going second, it doesn't do anything. We want where if we're going second, our chance of opening two hand traps is 50%. It's either two Mourner or we're playing three Ghost Ogre, three Bell. And I think because there's a Nambo, we want to do this. Can you play under Shifter? I can. I can play pretty well under Shifter. Do we just put Shifter in? Fuck. Okay. Is RL necessary? Three traps? The trap is like our main thing going first. Our, like What we want to do is get to this. Our, all our plays are based around getting to this. If we draw it, then we can use our rank threes to make synchros or ixies instead. Okay. All right, so we've not been doing great with this. I think there's still some potential, though. I think we just needed to change up some of our ratios. Again, I went to the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Probability Colle uh, co Collector. All right, so we're not doing all that great, but we're not doing completely awful either. Uh, I think this has potential, at least as much as the Punk variant did. We just needed to change up our ratios. I went back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! probability calculator, the, the hypergeometric calculator, and I figured out that if we're playing 42 cards and we're playing 15 hand traps, then our chance to open two of them is over 50%, and our chance to open one is like 85%. So we're now playing 15 hand traps in here, we took out some of the extra, like, gold pride cards that just weren't really working for us. And now we've got two Ghost Ogre, two Ghost Bell, three Ash Blossom, three Max C, three Imperm, and two Dimension Shifter. Because I realized this deck can actually play pretty well, like its first turn plays can do just about everything under Shifter. Your ceiling is lowered a little bit, but it's not that much. It's not as much as most of the other decks in the format. Like, if we can draw this against a uh, Tier Lament or a uh, Snake Eye deck, then we just win pretty much automatically, I feel like. And then we can do our plays and still do st go off next turn. So we're gonna try this. Uh, maybe we'll switch this out for something else. Maybe just have like a third copy of these two. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, we still haven't seen Ascended of Thunder, so I don't know if this is the best. The, uh, whatchamacallit... Lullaby of Obedience worked pretty good the one time we used it, so we're going to still try with that, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the trap is the best asset. The trap is like every everything you want to do gets you to the trap. And it's not once per turn, so if you draw more... Oh, shit! 
Oh fuck, I didn't know we were this close to ranking up. I thought we had lost way too many. We'll get our we'll get our racing helmet on, chat. Uh, we lost the coin toss, which does not bode well for us, but you know, maybe. Maybe our new ratios will work out and we'll get the two hand traps we wanted. Hey, there we go. Do we just shift her right now? Yeah. Fuck it. I don't know what you're on, but I ain't having it. And it's that easy, baby! We're racing our way all the way up into Diamond 4. Let's go! <laughs> Easiest game of my career. You know, when you're playing a rogue deck, you gotta take what you get. What was it? Was it, uh, Tier Lament? Uh, yep. Yep, good old Tier Lament. I have no idea why Tier Lament is so prevalent in Diamond 5, but... You know, we shifted into maximum over troll and that's what it got us. Skillful gameplay. Dual, uh... Nine plus 14, that's 23. Versus tier lament. Uh, versus dual 23. Could be anything. Insert troll face. <laughs> Where do you get all these silly hats? Amazon? Just buy them on Amazon. For the most part, I've got a lot of them on Etsy. I think this one is from a specific hat, like, manufacturer. Alright, we're going first. Uh, we want to start with this, because it's if you control no monsters. So, we'll go this. We'll activate. Maybe we'll fiend out an ash or something. No, no ash, no, um, whatchamacallit. I guess we just use this now. Lullaby of obedience. If I just type ash, do they know what I mean? No, no, not quite. I'll see, do you have crash bug? Z, specifically? No, ash blossom. Give me the ash blossom. I want it. You know what's really funny here? <laughs> if I wanted to, I could Trishula them. If I just wanted to rip a card out of their hand. Oh, they gave it to my hand. Well then. Very interesting indeed. But yeah, I could normal summon. My life points are lower. Uh, I think we still just want to do the Cherry O'Carry. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it just to rip one card out of their hand. We need to get our plays going first. Let's, uh, I don't think it matters which one we detach. Let's go ahead and get the better luck next time. Uh, send a card to the graveyard. Why, well, don't mind if I do. Ball. Let's activate this. We'll get the uh, Nitro Head, since we've already got the um, Carry. We'll go ahead and activate the Carry. You know, this deck would be significantly better if on Summon this set the trap. Instead of searching it. Because then, just during the end phase, when this activated, you would get the trap. But it doesn't do that. Uh, yeah. Special summon. Put this out here. And... Let's see. We could make... 
We could still normal summon. 8, 9, 10, 11. We could normal summon this and make pep. Do we want to just make a pep? I mean, we already have the ash. Or we could normal summon it and use carry to make a... Um, uh, not a fortune tune. Uh, Cicada King. Uh, yeah. Well, normal summon. I'd go ahead. Yeah, I think Cicada King's probably better. Get an effect negation. Put in the extra monster zone so we clear up some room. And there we go. And then this will resolve. Send that there, and we get another carry out here. And we get to draw a card. So we got two hand traps, plus the pop from this, plus the monster negate, plus the start your engines. And we didn't have to do like a 12 part combo. And it's that easy, chat. <laughs> they knew they couldn't play through everything. Yeah, see, that's that you lower the ceiling, and it's like, if we go off, we still got more than enough stuff to make, like, a board that's really, really hard to play through. I don't think it's worth it to play all those extra, like, garnets just so you could be a tiny bit stronger. At least not at this point. Maybe if you go higher up, where you're, like, against more uh, difficult opponents, it might you might need that extra strength. But I think down here, where we're just trying to, to climb the ladder, I think it's better. Yeah, did that explain why we're not playing the punk cards? The punks the punks increase your ceiling because they give you even more stuff. Um, is there another, like, level 11 synchro that works at all? No, no. That is really funny. I need three monsters, though. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, the punk only works if we've got psychic tuners in the graveyard. <laughs> Consider to run a big deck. I did. I was running a big deck. The problem was we need to get, we need to open hand traps in this format to win. And when you got a 50 card deck, even if you're playing like 20 hand traps, you know, you're not going to open them when you need them. Hey, there we go. Uh yeah, Maxi in the draw phase. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh, sure. Been a while since we've seen this. Might as well be stun. Okay, so what is this? Uh, you can target one monster your opponent controls. They must send one monster with the same name to the deck or from to the graveyard. Um, I think we imperm that. Do we? No, we can just run it over with this. Hello there. Nice to meet you. All right, they're letting me have it. Do we carry? Uh, 
Yeah, we can send another carry, and that just it's just 900 extra damage. Uh, yeah, we don't want too much. Let's just go to battle. Let's get rid of this. Mirror Force! All, all right. Uh, now I gain like 5,000. <laughs> now I have too many life points. Um, I guess I could still normal summon this and get the effect. Oh, they got a solemn judgment. Yeah, they're just like, no. Nah. And now their life points are way down. Well, okay, so the bad news is we're in a bad way. The good news is they have a lot of life points to chew through. Gallant Granite? What are they searching? Fossil Dino? They've already normal summoned. They could get Lord... Yeah, I think we need to end permit. I I was really curious, but like, you know, they could get something that protects all their back row. They could get something that stops all special summons. Either way, I don't want to see it. Didn't even attack, by the way. Lullaby of Obedience. Let's try it. Do you think they're playing Ash Chat? Like, shit, they might not. They don't play Ash! Well, fuck. 85% chance failed. Well, I guess we'll finally find out what the hell they had. Yeah, it's just Fossil Dino. Time tearing Morganite. But they just summoned Luna. I'm starting to feel like maybe I should run, like, Lightning Storm or Evenly just for these stupid stun decks. Okay. Sure. I'll take it. No Luna Kaiju. Yeah. 
Yeah, going first. Okay, we finally opened Ascendant of Thunder while going first. Time to see how this plays. I mean, we could do the thing. We've already got the trap, which is the best part, because now we don't even have to search that part. We can just be like, hello. I have a very ugly man. Uh, boo boo. I mean, we've got other, no other normal summons. Uh, yeah, so we just normal summon this. That way, if they have a max C, they don't draw two off of it. All right. And yeah, we just get our free Barone. Seven plus three, it's where you want to be. Bar on the floor dot mp3. Uh, and then we'll put the rollerballer out there. I believe rollerball or pinballer is just a, you know, a rollerballer plus anything, right? Let me check this. Plus one or more go- yeah. So I can just use the one in my hand as the material, even if they somehow negate this. But assuming they don't, we've got an Omni Negate, we've got two Monster Steals, and then a Pop that goes into a Synchro. Potentially. I don't think we can go into the... Uh, yeah, we can't go into the Synchro. Probably just get carried to get another Trap. End of the main phase? Yeah, go... Oh, end phase. Damn. Uh... Do we have game? There's no way we have game, right? Uh, to attack? Uh, to attack? 48... It's normal summon 12... Add ourselves the Takatomborg. Uh, special summon. That's 66. Plus the other rollerballer. Maxi. <laughs> A little late there, buddy. And that's only three summons, so we're well under Nibiru range. Yeah, this is 80... This is more than lethal. Unless you got something. And it doesn't look like they got something. So there we go. Full Dark Armor Knight Lancer. I haven't seen that engine. I'll have to look into it. Wow. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13 starters. I guess you could still brick. Or maybe they just had one and they're like, I can't play through the Barone, so they just didn't bother. All right, chat, rev up your engines, because we're close to another checkpoint. One more win and we, I mean, we've unlocked the shock. What can I say? We were doing so bad for so long and now we're on a win streak. The good old come from behind victory. 
Giggity. Um, we've got... Not much. No way to lower our life points. Uh, this one is... Let's see, if this hand, you can target one non-warrior gold pride in your graveyard. Um, I guess we can... This is really weird. Uh, we can normal summon Leon. They're probably like, the fuck is this? <laughs> Let's see, if we put a card in the graveyard... Hmm... Yeah, let's go ahead and just Dimension Shifter now. Gamma! Well, that's a fine howdy-do. But I mean, at least they used it on that. If they had used it on what I was about to do, we'd be in big trouble. Okay. So now we can summon the Takatomborg, because these are both wind monsters! And then go into Cherry O'Carry. It took- that took a while. I don't know why I was sitting on that for- for so long. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead. Better luck next time. Activate this. Get the chariot so we can get the trap. Life points officially lowered. Now they max C. Unfortunate, but we can just kind of end there, I think. Uh, let's use this. I kind of want a rollerballer. Is it worth giving them another card? They're on what? Galaxy Eyes? Yeah, I think we need to put one of these out here. the safer play and then we just end our turn and then this returns um oh can we not summon i thought the summon was optional well fuck at least we get to draw a card too not that it'll be any use here. Okay, if they've got, uh, they've got, like, evenly matched, we're mega fucked. No, it's bike. All right, we might be able to play through this. Go with that. Okay, they get the special summon. Will they use the effect, locking them into super heavy samurais? No. I think they might be cooked, chat. Okay, yep, now we rollerballer. We don't want to destroy this because it'll um, trigger the effect. But if we use baller and carry, we can just make pinballer. 
And then we can use this effect to slurp up these two. Now I do piercing! And give me this as well. Okay, now they get to Pendulum Summon. One, two, okay. So we can start your engines. We'll blow up this. One, two, Nitro Head, I guess. Yeah. We gotta hope we get Leon. Two thirds chance. Yeah, there we go. Leon! Uh, yeah, we'll use this effect because we're just gonna use the other one. We'll get the baller back. Oh, wait, the baller. Yeah, we'll get the baller. It has more defense. And then we'll go ahead and just do this now. Synchro Shokan. We'll make Star Leon. Yeah! Just in time. Uh, no, but we do want to use... Okay, there we go! And yeah, Star Leon pops the final monster. They've already normaled. They've already pendulumed. I've sucked up all the stuff off their field. We did it! Using only the power of gold prides, we managed to march our way into to Diamond 3 with the power of the bear. Okay, this is 222, dual 25. No, dual 27 versus super heavy samurai. Uh, during. Oh. During the end, when I talk about the power of the bear, have like a JPEG of a roaring bear fly up into the screen and add a roar sound effect. I'm so glad we ain't doing Nimlurry. <laughs> ah, I... Hard to say. The thing about Nemluria is that it's a very hard, like, go second deck. So if we were on it, we would be blinding second, which means wading through all the combos. But instead of getting a racing hat helmet, I could get one of those little sleepy time nightcaps and be like, honk shoe. Me, 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 me. And a pillow, yeah. Going first. All right, all right. Let's start with this. Hi there. My name is Doug. And then I guess we... Yeah, we do the normal summon on this again, right? To play around Maxi. They got something. I knew it! Son of a bitch! Oh, Yeah, we still make the floor. 
Yeah, if we lullaby and call Ash, then they chain Maxi and they get an extra one. Uh, I mean, they get an extra one anyway, but... Yeah, at least we open with carry, so we don't even have to make the rank three. I can just do this. Ash. Ripperoni. Uh, is there any other way to get to the trap? Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I want that trap. That trap's worth like three, three disruptions. Plus, okay, here's what we do, chat. We set, we set, we end our turn. There are a lot of people asking why we're playing three rollerballer. This is why. So during the standby, we use the Barone's secret effect and we summon Leon this way. Or not, but at least they use the imperm on that. But the idea is we would have the Leon and the Baller, you know, even though we had this. Okay, so now we've just got a pop and then two sucks and a negate. All right, and we're playing against the best deck of the format. We just gotta be careful. I think we do, we, yeah, we use the start your engines on this. Because then they don't have something that they can send for the original sinful spoils. Fuck. They ashed it. No ballin' allowed. Decent hand. Yeah, well, I mean, they got to max C, so they drew into two ashes. But, I mean, if they get to the, um... They get to this. And then we can imperm this. And then unless they also open, like, bonfire, we should be good. Did you open Bonfire on top of everything else? Nope, oh, they're drawing. They're trying to get into it. Hey! That's how you do it! <laughs> we beat Snake Eye! Through a max C even. And that brings us to 50-50. Ha ha. How many hand traps was that? Four? Yeah, they hit us with Max C Ash Ash Imperm. And we still did it. How do you like the deck so far? I mean, just, uh, famously, I like, I like, I really enjoy decks that like summon during the opponent's turn. I really liked Crystron. That was like my deck for a while. And then when Godi came out, that replaced it. I liked art, like pure artifacts back in the day. Um, Metaphys. And this kind of falls in the same thing. I like the idea of like being able to make a ball on my opponent's turn and just like suck up everything. Is this deck fun or cheap? Fun? Yes. Cheap? God no. At least not right now. They don't have a master pack yet for the gold pride. Or a secret pack. Once they get a secret pack, it's not that bad. As far as like in archetype, it's C6, seven URs, and four SRs.
Uh, what would it be? One, two, three. You don't necessarily need these. You can play other stuff. So it would be one, two, three, uh, four. I thought there was another one that I was playing. Oh, and Baller. So one, two, three, four, five, five SRs and seven URs. So it's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. Uh, you, I'm playing a whole bunch of hand traps, but I assume if you've been playing, if you've been playing Master Duel this whole time and you've been getting stuff and breaking down your things, hopefully you already have your playset of like Ash, Maxi, Nibiru, Valor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, they had a normal pack or a selection pack. But it's no like, I, I want to show you this real quick, chat. I didn't realize this until I, I was recording the intro for the upcoming Snake Eye Ladder Climb. And if you if you never watched the ladder climb to the very end, I always do a thing with deck statistics where I talk about um, like the cost of the deck and how many URs and SRs and normals it has, like win-loss ratio, coin toss ratio. Take a moment and look at this deck real quick, chat. How many normal and rare cards are there in it? Count that up. I'm going to go get a drink real quick. The fuck? <laughs> I keep losing count. Yep, the, uh, the answer is two. We're playing one oak and one subversion. Everything else in here is an SR or a UR. <laughs> This car, this deck, very expensive. Now, granted, a lot of that is because, again, hand trap format. Like, you're playing three Ash, three Maxi, three Imperm, two Called By, one Designator. Like, that's three, six, nine. That's 12 URs, just, just as is. Uh, Thrust, that's another, like, staple. Uh, Ghost Spell, you could replace this with other stuff, but if it's not Ghost Spell, then you're playing, like, Valor. So those are all URs. But even within the deck, like, Poplar's a UR, Witch is a UR, the thing that searches Witch is a UR, uh, Original Sinful is a UR, Flamberge is a UR, Ash is just an SR. And then it's just like, because you're playing generic Link staples, you know. But these are also things that like, I feel like, again, if you've been playing since Master Duel launched or at least for a year, you eventually get to the point where like, you know, once you've built one Appalooza, this is all you need. Then you have all the Appaloozas. You get, get one, uh, one access code, there you go, you're set. I think I had to craft Z Lint, like, as far as crafting, like, I had to craft... Her and Zelantis and um, I think uh, Amblo Whale and everything else I already had from other stuff. Yeah, most modern decks have Bonfire. I don't even know what I would take out for Bonfire, to be honest. Because I ended up, I had the Where Arf Thou and I ended up replacing it with Thrust for going second. Yeah, like IP Masquerade and I already had, Unicorn, the Charmers. You might have to craft the Fire Charmer. I don't think that's been meta relevant until now. Have you played the Cash Snake Eye deck? That one was super cool. It's it's effective and it's good. Um, I wouldn't really call it like cool because to me, all it really does is like, it basically says like, okay, if you like, like, the whole idea behind it, if you're unfamiliar, is that you're essentially playing, um, where is it at? Like, three Unicorn, uh, one Wraith Soth, and then one Fenrir. I actually, do they play Fenrir? I guess you still play Fenrir because it's Fenrir, but you're basically just playing three of this and then a Wraith Soth. So you've got four chances to open this. 
And then it's like, you know, you put that out, and then if they max C you or ash you, it's like, okay, well, you might have stopped my play, but now I get to look at your extra deck and take, like, your princess. I get to take your best card out. So even if you do play through, we're good. And then, like, you get the unicorn, and unicorn gets birth. And then you can either, like, use Birth to normal summon Diabell Star because it's a level 7. Or, more likely, you could do what I what I, we saw earlier, which was you send off the Unicorn to summon the Diabell Star, and then you use Birth to get the Unicorn back. And then during your opponent's turn, again, even if they hand trap you, even if they stop you from going full combo with the Snake Eyes, the fact that as soon as they activate a monster effect, you're taking a card out of their extra deck, and as soon as they activate a spell, you're banishing stuff from their graveyard, means that in the Snake Eye Mirror, you're putting them at a severe disadvantage. <coughs> And yeah, just the fact that this is on the field means like, you know, say you do summon your Diabell Star and then they, um, and you get your original Sinful Spoils. Usually what you do from there is use this to send the Black Witch. And then if they save the Ash for there and you don't have like a normal summon already, you're in a very sucky position because you have no field presence, right? Like, if you summon this, search this, sent this off, get ashed, and you don't already have a starter, you just pass your turn, essentially. But this allows you to keep the Diabell Star on the field, and if you want, you could send Birth. Or you could send the Unicorn. It just gives you extra cards on fields you can use. If you open Dia Bell Star and Unicorn, you can pack Draco Sack Tomahawk. <laughs> well, Tomahawk, uh, Galaxy Tom. Oh, yeah. Then I guess you could just make Appaloosa or whatever. For some reason, I thought that locked you into something, but no, it's the link that locks you into stuff. Six tomahawks? Yep, six tomahawks. It locks you out of attacking, but who cares? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I forgot to update the thing. We're in Diamond 3. Oops. Well, sometimes you gamble, sometimes you lose, chat. You know, we got a 54% chance to open hand traps. Sometimes your opponent gambles and sometimes they lose. Unless this is like another stun deck. Oh, geez. This is a great poker hand, you know? Uh, I guess we special summon Terror Top. Let's go. Let's go, 21. 21's not worth living in. Scientists get stumped by Nirvana High Paladin. These idiots were so preoccupied that everyone else caught on fire. Uh, you know what? In this case, chat, I think we're going to play it kind of safe. Hello there. I am a tiny bird. Nice to meet you. Let's just go. Battle phase. Main phase two. My name's Zeus. Let's just get rid of all these cards. In perm. All right. All right, in that case, we'll just, uh, better luck next time. We'll get carry. 
And yeah, I didn't want to attack. If I, I wasn't sure if I could OTK, especially through three back row. I didn't want to try because if I lowered their life points but didn't kill them, all the cards in my hand would be turned off. And I don't want to have to deal with that. So let's summon this. Okay, there's the Ash Blossom. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go ahead and special summon the Ascendant of Thunder. Hello there. And... Uh, yeah, we'll just normal summon. Normal summon. Boop. Boop. Bar on the floor. Chunk. Uh, and then we'll pop one of these. So I didn't open any hand traps, but they opened all the hand traps. <laughs> it was in perm, in perm, ash. What do, what, what do you want to bet that this is like called by or something? Okay, all I've got is a negate, but they seem to be in a bad way. One negate for three cards. They didn't do anything last time. So like, I gotta assume that neither of these are starters. Granted, if they've got a starter and the third in perm, then they can negate the Barone and then go off. Rat Pier. Shackanine. Tiger Mortar. Borbo. Okay. Begun the Zeus Wars have. The Counter Zeus. Yeah, so if this is their other in perm, we're a little sauced. Oh, it's not. Okay. So, our board is wiped, but so is their board. Called by... On... That. Probably a smart move. What they don't know is my other- I opened three of the starter spells. Oh, start your engines? Don't mind if I do. Let's just do this. Let's add, um... You know what? Let's go for Nitro Head. Because it has the most attack. Howdy, howdy. Battle phase. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll just give them one of these tokens. Uh, we'll put it in defense position. I don't want them to, like, evenly me. Uh, yeah, we're doing this. Start your engines! Uh, let's go Leon, Leon, Baller. Leon! Leon effect. And that's, that's all she wrote, ladies and non-ladies. Leon's negated? I don't think it's still negated. 
Oops, wrong one. They did it at the end of their previous turn, so it was that turn, then my turn, and we were back to their turn. Yeah, they're just playing Zodiac with a cash thing and macro. Sorry, first time chatter. It's okay. People make mistakes all the time. As long as you own up to them. And then buy my branded hard leg merch. You can get a, your own hard leg tumbler with the logo and everything. Keeps drinks cold. Would recommend. Draw phase, activate Max C, don't forget it! Max C minigame failed. I'm gonna play full armor Dixie. I might try it. Someone has to send me a, a bill, a, a, like a deck list. Someone also suggested a Dino Morphia Gold Pride. The Dino Rescue Rangers. Um Yeah, let's let's say no to that. Yeah, that's what I like to hear, baby. Unfortunately, um, we don't really... <laughs> they think we could special summon. We didn't open any way to lower our life points. So, I think we just like summon Leon. Uh, set this. I could crash and then special Leon and Baller. That's better, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead. We're going to crash Leon. <laughs> Minus 200. Oh, wait. They max seed. I'm dumb. I'm dumb as hell. Ah... Uh. Yeah, we'll give him Pot of Greed. That's fine. That's fine! We've got like three disruptions now. Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and start your engines! Vroom, vroom, vroom! Um... Yeah, we want to get rid of the token. And then we'll get three carry, because that's the one we need. Yeah, because we can't use Nitro Head now. So we're going to do carry. Carry's going to draw us a card. And then we just do this, right? This is not when it's summoned. Oh, it is when it's summoned. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll wait because there's not much they can do here. Yeah. Just get another one for next turn. Um, yeah, I would slurp it with baller. We know they have a, um, whatchamacallit, a 10 ye in hand, so I don't want to leave them with nothing on the field. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. We'll make Leon. Because then they can do 10 Yi shenanigans. And I don't want them to do 10 Yi shenanigans. I'll just keep popping their tokens. Uh, no. Uh, there we go. Oh. Um. I can't pop the token. Yes. And then at resolution, now we roller baller. Ballin'. And we don't want to leave them with a token. So we'll take the token. Token becomes spell. <laughs> and we'll take that. Level five? I forgot this was a tuner. Oh, fuck. Tang Long is legal. Shit, shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have left. Oh, either way, I was screwed. Yeah, and then I have to use this. Shit, so wait, they didn't set their card. Um, what did they search? Oh, they got a sh okay. I was like, they've got to be playing the trap, right? in a bit of a tricky pickle. Oh, why, thank you. Just maxi here. Fortunately, that only draws us one. Just in time, buddy. Where are my hand traps? Okay, what if you add two tuners? Okay, Leon, you, and you. We're rolling the bones, could be anything. Leon! Yeah, and then we can just do... Oh, we could bring back Star Leon. My life points are already lower. Yeah. Zero attack. Um, if this face up leaves the field, you could special summon one Yang Zing monster from your deck. Okay. Oh, they control a non effect monster. Um. You could slurp for three. I don't want to slurp for three. Yeah, let's just slurp for two. Let's get you and you. Yeah, decide time. Um, this has zero defense. That's unfortunate.
take you and you because I don't want you to link off and then have this in the graveyard. Taya. Uh, yep. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that was a bit touch and go, I tell you what. But we did it. Oh, I beat the practical exam with that one. Finally, <laughs> we can take our final test chat. Uh, dual, what was that? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30 versus Sword Soul. All right, it's been a long time coming. Oh, only the real Legos will know. Those who have been here for the last like four months watching every ladder climb. Uh, we're, we're finally reaching the culmination of the test, the final challenge. Let us begin. Last time we get to hear this music. Editor, just let it play for a second. Uh, this is Cypher Blade Dragon, right? No. Okay. Well, we gotta get all five, so let's just give up. Alright, let's try it again. Five out of five. Let's go. I believe. What did I... Didn't... I didn't think we get the same one. It was... Neo Galaxy Eyes Cypher... It's Galaxy Eyes... It's just the Cypher Dragon. For some reason, I thought Cypher Dragon was a main deck monster. With whom did they achieve perfection? It was uh, at Hara, the like blank one, right? Yeah. I guess we'll do the rest of these so we can learn. <laughs> Come on now. Um, that's a ba if I've ever seen one. No, it's a B. I'm a B. I'm a B. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a B. Uh, it's not Kuik. It's uh Sezonk? Yeah, there we go. He's basically a man-eater bug. What is the name of this one? It's, um, Fearsome Zangyun. Yeah. Again, you know, I, I really think, especially at the higher levels, there should be questions about, like, you know, um, can you, can you guess this ruling? Do you understand the mechanics? Not just like, hey, here's a card that's barely used. What's its name? <laughs> it's very weird. Okay, we're trying again. We're going in this. I believe... Which of the following is not a type of monster that could be special summoned by the effect of Puny Penguin? Fiend? Yeah, okay. I don't think Fairy either. Uh, in Spectre Slaying Flames, in the solo mode, which of the following is used by the Shiranui to become one with the Founder? It is, um, Style Synthesis. Question number three. We just did this one. It's Sazank. Uh, what is the name of this? I'm a B. I'm a B. I'm a, I'm, I'm a B. Okay, last one. Can we get it? What is the name of this card? Localized Tornado. There we go. I know the obscure card that shuffles everything back into the deck, making me the victor. And with that, we are efficiently... Grade 10. The smartest. I could put this... I don't know why I even did. There's nothing to complete. You know, maybe they'll add more in the future. It was kind of neat. You know, you got some some uh, sleeves. Did they give you gems early on? No. It was just legacy packs. Okay, maybe this wasn't a great idea. They should put gems in it. <laughs> Either way, it's done. We can focus on the duels. But hopefully you enjoyed the little break. Comment in the comments if you like the break. Who's that Pokemon? 
char back. One more game gonna win the race. One more game gonna get the face. Win the coin toss. That's pretty good. Pretty nice. Yeah, I like these goggles fit over my glasses. I was worried I, I wouldn't be able to see. But we're ready. We're going. And we got, we got like everything. It's everything I want. It's everything I need. It's everything inside of me that I wish I could be. Okay, they seem to have something, but they didn't do it before the terror top. Ha cha cha! I get my special summon in. Let's go and get the Takatomborg. Let's go ahead and special summon the Takatomborg. Borg. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this now. We'll just get the Nitro Head. Uh, okay, and now that we have that... Well, we already have carry. Do we really need to make that? No, because we've already got carry and we've already got Rollerballer. So we might as just well make this. Just give ourselves an extra negate. And then we'll activate this. Get ourselves the trap. Bada bingo. Go ahead and I should have put that in the extra monster zone. I think we're still good. Yep, we'll activate this. And then really we just gotta hope there's no Nibiru. Well. Um, unfortunate. Well, we already got the trap, so... Give me token. Do not utter his name. Big, at least it's a big token. Okay, Nitro Head. Uh, let me read the Nitro Head Ixie, er, Link real quick. Wait, I can't special, oh, it takes two gold pride monsters, never mind. Uh, yeah. I was like, maybe we could make that and then draw a card, but we've got, you know, they're down a card. We've still got this, which represents like three disruptions because we've already got the uh, baller in the graveyard. And we've got this. Okay, do you bell star? Do you send off the rock for that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, let's go ahead, put the rock, put it here. Oh, I guess they'll get to be able to do it in the, the main phase before I'll get a chance. Oh, they still sent something from their hand anyway. Okay, we want to activate this now. We'll pop this. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll do this and just clear their whole field. That way they can't send it off. They had their chance. Now they'll have nothing to use for original sinful spoils. Pop, pop. Watch a motherfuckers drop. Let's go for Leon. Let's see, you get to choose between Leon, or you could pick Leon, or maybe you could get a Leon.
Okay, so they get the original Sinful. And then Leon. Ooh, we, yeah, we want the baller. Uh-oh, called by? Called by, no! <laughs> um, let's see. Before that effect, we can still synchro. So let's let's go ahead and do this before we're locked. Go ahead and just make Pep. We've lost a lot of life points, so they might not be able to get over this. Okay. They still need something to send with this, or they have to have already opened with Snash. Oh, are you going to activate the effect? Oh, wait. I could do this, but they'll then they'll just get uh, birth and bring it back. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, and then they send that off. Yeah, we're just going to pop the birth to get rid of it. And then it's just a matter of they've got full snake eye combo. Can they get past the 58 hunt? Well, this they can just put in the back rooms with um, Flamberge, but can they get rid of Pep is the question. Yeah, if they play Goddess, Goddess and Pep will, will be in, in danger. We also have the chance, what would be the other thing? Interesting. Okay, the token goes to the back rooms. It's their token. <laughs> could we we could hit the princess maybe? If they use the effect they try to use the effect of the flamberge after it comes back. Uh yeah, we just ghost ogre that. Don't tell me you got the other called by. Okay. It's in Cthulhu's hands now. The God of Chaos will decide if we can win and whatever's in their extra deck. At this rate, they might also time out. They've spent a lot of time doing stuff.
Okay. I was going to say, I feel like that was their time. If they were going to Underworld Goddess. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Can you make it with just three monsters? No, they can't make anything but fires. Amblo Whale! Battle phase! Let's get big! Okay, they're going for the crash. They can flam burge and link two, or in the, the main phase two, but then that... Well, you can just bring back... Well, fuck. I was like, but then how will they IP? They'll have nothing. They will have many things. Well, we tried. We couldn't out the snake eye this time. A sad state of affairs. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't. We shouldn't have played into the maxi, I don't think. <laughs> uh. Haha! They took our pep, they did. Uh, threaten battle phase? Shit. They're not falling for it, chat. Nope, they didn't fall for it. Shit. <laughs> well, our, our win streak couldn't last forever. Yeah, it's weird that we got these sleeves. They should be the gold pride ones, right? No, these ones are that too. Right. Pretty good hand. We've already got start your engines. We've got something to lower our life points. 
If they ash us, we can imperm it. Or not imperm. Um, yeah, we just get nitro. Uh, activate. I wish there was some way to get into uh, Barone. But there's not really. Valor. Oh, we already got the trap, so that's fine. We'll just save the the call by. Um, and I, th I think we're just gonna go into the chariot. Um, just so we can get a draw and do some setup. Put doesn't matter in the graveyard. Get another one of these. Send a card. Yeah, we'll send that guy. Set. Set. And there we go. Um. Yeah, let's just get the one out of our graveyard, right? Because we kind of want to carry in there. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. We should have gotten from the deck, so our chance to draw a hand trap was better. Should have got it out of the deck! <laughs> I was a fool! This again. Uh, okay. Nitro Head is like the easiest thing to play around. Diabell Stalk! Uh, I think we called by the Poplar, right? That leaves them with very little to do. And we could do this too. Uh, let's see. We've got one of those in the grave. Yeah. So if we get the baller, it's less stuff, but if we get the thing, uh, the Leon, we can get the baller back out. Okay, it's just a baller. We're balling. Yeah, I think from here, they're pretty doomed. You know? They're like John Carmack in his prime. Bonfire! Yeah, like you can add the, um, the snashed, or the, oh yeah, I guess you add that. Yeah, you can add the poplar to hand. But then what do you do? Uh, yeah, I don't even slurp it up. What's the point? If you want to activate that, you can. Ah, I see. Okay, and now we're balling. 
Use this and this. Yes. Yeah, I don't need to make that stronger. There you go. You like to be spell traps, right? There you go. You're fine. It's everything you wanted. Of course you drew the fucking unicorn. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay, at least they didn't activate it. I was worried I was going to lose everything in my graveyard. Uh, yeah, we'll get this out. Uh, we'll get to draw a card. But they'll probably banish the baller if I had to guess. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, baller. No birth? Maxi? Oh, they're thinking. They got that McDonald's Wi Fi acting up. Figured they hit. I feel they're like, I gotta get rid of that ball, and they clicked it, and as they clicked it, they saw Pep in the extra deck, and they were like, oh, I've made a mistake. <laughs> Cause yeah, I could just search another Leon. Leon plus the Nitro equals Pep. Pep banishes their thing. I'll I'll have gone down another 1500 life points. So Pep's gonna attack you for the big number. Uh, that was an interesting duel, right? I feel like we've already gotten so many this, 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 uh, stream. I don't want to overload. Finally made it to 100k channel points. I really need to think of something for channel points. The thing is, a lot of the stuff for, for channel points, it's either me doing something or it's playing something on the screen. And because my streams are almost exclusively me recording stuff for the, the ladder climb, I don't want to have like, you know, I'm trying to explain my plays and then someone starts playing like an air horn over and over again. That one needs to stay because you drew the carry after saying you should summon it. Sure. Duel. Uh, 32 versus Snake Eye. Uh, I'm just looking back and seeing what I can cut out, maybe. Unfortunately, I didn't take as robust notes. Wait, am I about to rank up again? All right. One more time, gonna win the race. One more time, gonna put it in my face. Boom, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, 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 boom. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. I wonder if anyone's combined those two. All right, three hand traps. No starters, but if we only use one of these, then we can make Barone with the other one. So there's that. Oh, hello, Poplar. Yeah, you can go ahead. I know how this works. If you had opened Snash, you would have used it. 
If you had opened Diabell Star, he would have used it. So you make Link Karibo. You go into the thing. Turn off chain. Be like, in perm? I don't have in perm. Why would I have in perm? Use this. And this is where I ash. Also, why would you not keep the, um, the Link Karibo on the field so you could blank the draw phase? Oh, you're gonna called by? Oh, you think you can called by? I think not, friendo. I play Ghost Bell. <laughs> Unless you got another called by. <laughs> yeah, get him out of here. <laughs> Setting a card, forgetting a card, doing all the things that you want a card. All right, I just need a gold pride. Maybe carry? That ain't it. Oh, that does allow me to get the Barone on, though. So we should probably do that. Hello there. It's me, Big Uglyman. Uh, normal summon. Let's just go ahead and make the, the bar on the floor. Dink. And then let's just get rid of this back row. You don't need that. Yep, just in perm. Just getting rid of a free in perm. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to negate that. You're fine. What if it was an artifact? <laughs> touche! Touche, salesman! Alright, let's just go in for 3,000. Okay, they've got three cards. I've got three negates. I was, gonna, I was about to say, unless one of those is Lightning Storm, but it absolutely isn't. Or even if it was, they couldn't activate it with this Poplar up here, like... T posing to assert dominance. And there we go! It's that easy, ladies and non ladies. Who even needs the gold pride stuff? All you need is Ascendant of Thunder and a million hand traps. <laughs> and we rank our way up into Diamond 2. As a, whoops, as a general rule for this episode, every time I summon Baron de Fleur, play a, um, does anyone know, what's the actual name of that sound effect? It's like a bar being dropped on cement. Bar on the floor dot mp3. It's like a metal pipe sound effect. Yeah, let me see if I can find it real quick. Metal pipe sound effect. One hour bass boosted. <laughs> yep, there you go. Uh, what's this actually called? 
play metal pipe falling sound effect. You can find it on YouTube under that exact name. Yeah, I just like the effect that like when you summon bear bear like when you summon bar on the floor instead of making the chunk sound, it's just like I summon bar on the floor. <laughs> That's the sound it makes when summoned. The top one with 9 million views is metal pipe falling but it's more violent. That sounds exactly the same. <laughs> I am easily amused. Shape snatch. No related cards. Oh, I should upgrade. I was going to be like, how many of these do I have now? Seven. What's your most owned card? Michael. <laughs> Mike Helion. I've got 18 of them. It's a Leah. I've got almost as many Easter Island heads. And Saggy, the clown with sagging pants. What's the spell I have the most of? Blue medicine. I had an uncle who was addicted to the blue medicine. Couldn't stop. Poor bastard. Armor break. Negate the activation of equip card and destroy it. One second. I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a little Twitter, do a little Twitter shenanigans. Yo, what's up, Master Duel players? What spell do you have the most copies of? Mine is Blue Medicine. <laughs> What's up, Master Duelists? Which undustable 
Legacy Pack Spell do you have the most copies of? Mine is Blue Medicine. If you follow me on Twitter, you can go you can go check that out now. That's the kind of stupid stuff you can expect on Twitter. If you want to follow me for more insightful takes, you can follow me over on Blue Sky. I did a whole series of threads where I explained like my Baldur's Gate playthrough from the perspective of my character. It was a nice, cool adventure. You got to see all sorts of funny things. Now I'm watching my way through Star Trek Deep Space Nine and doing episode reviews over on Blue Sky. I followed on Blue Sky. <coughs> so if you like me to talk about actual stuff, it's over there. Over on Twitter, I mostly just post weird shit posts and uh, get in fights with, with uh, politicians. <sighs> like I ratioed some uh, senator from my state with Shape Snatch. That's always fun. Stupid anti-trans misinformation bastard. What's that up to now? I didn't... I was expecting that to get like... Like this guy had a post where he's just like... Posting some stupid like... Um, what's it called? Those newspapers in England that are mostly like misinformation. Tabloids. Just some tabloid thing. He's like, uh oh, another study disproves the leftist agenda. And it's got, it's been up for like five hours. It's got like 10 likes. And I was like, why are you even here? Like, you're not, no one likes you. No one likes the things you say. A fucking Yu Gi Oh card could get more views than this. And I just posted Shape Snatch. And I thought maybe it'd get like. 20 likes or whatever. Like, I didn't have to do much to ratio him. But it's currently sitting at about 469. <laughs> the Daily Mail, yeah. I'm like, well, that worked better than expected. And yeah, it's uh, some post from the Daily Mail. And the weird thing is, it's, it's, what was it? He's quoting the Daily Mail, and the Daily Mail is quoting a study that just got released. And, like, he says that the article says this, and it doesn't. If you read the article, he's basically taken, he's basically read the headline and just assumed that he knows what it's about. But even the, the Daily Mail article isn't as bigoted as he is. But then even the Daily Mail, if you go to the study that they're quoting, they got it wrong too. Because <laughs> the study doesn't even say what they're claiming it says. So it's like this, this thing of telephone where things just get like, more and more nuance gets lost as it goes down. <laughs> And you know, we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh players don't like to read, but the unfortunate part is that almost no one likes to read. <laughs> That's part of the reason we're in such a bad way. <laughs> so many people just like, read the headline. Although, you know, for what it's worth, I think uh, the younger generation, well, I don't know. I'd say I felt like the younger generation was starting to get better at that because when you're online, you have to read stuff. Like you're dealing a lot more in like texts and DMs. So the language centers of your brain get built up more. Whereas like a lot of people who grew up in the like 70s and 80s and even the early 90s, you just had TV. And those people didn't read like books at all. Like they just watched visual media. They never read a goddamn thing. And they're like near illiterate half the time. I'm surprised when I run into like adult, like people in their like 50s who like, they're asking questions. It's like, it's written right there. Just read. That's the, the point of language. 
But now I feel like a lot of, uh, especially the, the most youngest kids, they're being raised on like TikTok and TikTok's almost like the new TV where there's just so much visual stuff you don't have to read again anymore. If you want to communicate, you could just send voice messages back and forth. But now I'm like an old man yelling at a cloud. Oh. Anyway. There we go. Going first. Went first. Uh, not great, but not awful. The fact that we can normal summon this is at least nice. If they've got an imperm or whatever, maybe this will bait it out. <laughs> Joke's on you, I can't special summon. Oh, and <laughs> the two for one? I mean, don't mind if I do. I already had the trap I was going to search. <laughs> Yeah, who even, who even needs to hand loop your opponent? They'll discard two cards themselves. Now the question is, chat, did they, um... Did they open their Ash or Called By? Doesn't look like it. Okay, even bigger question. Are you on, like, a stun deck or something? Doesn't look like it. Bonfire, yep, just going for the Snash. Snash or pass. Uh, yeah, we just activate this here, right? Because then they can't use the effect. And then we get, we get like, uh, we go for Baller here. Oh, don't tell me you got Ash. Wait, if you had Ash, why didn't you activate it on the Max C? Must be... I don't know what they got. Yeah, either way, we're just going balling. Balling. Curry Kara. All right. End of the main phase? Nah, I'm good. Oh, okay. Cool, man, cool. Oh, another one? Don't mind if I do. Change to attack position. Um, let's see. 23, but we're doing more this way. And we wouldn't get this out. The unfortunate part is now their life points are going to be lower. But considering we've got so many other things, I think we're good. Yeah, we'll just hit in. we got to put them on some kind of clock. Uh, another one. All right, your move, Slamuel. Another one. Uh, yeah. We'll just do the same thing. Ah, Maxi. Uh, yeah, that's fine-ish. So now we both got Maxi active. Uh, we'll just get a Leon. Uh, 
That's what at most two summons. Popular. Before the end of the main phase. Uh oh. Evenly? No. Ooh. Um. Lullaby of obedience. Give me your ash blossom. <laughs> I would like to have it! All right. Um. Hmm. Pep don't really do much. That won't really do much. I think we just go for Chariot for more damage. And we can make like a um, Zeus if we want. Valor. Uh, yeah, I think we do this to dodge the Valor. We're unfortunately a hundred off of lethal. We're ballin'. So the Veiler misses timing. This gets us the better luck next time. Um, ooh, can we do this? One second here. Uh, yeah. Check this out. We use carries often not used effect. We can banish um, cards from our graveyard and it gains how much attack for each? 500 for each? 45 plus 15? Who even needs to do anything else? I wanna be a big baller, shot caller, running on in and rolling over my callers. Or something. There's a reason I'm not a rapper, all right? I wear a top hat. Carry for the win! Ca she, she carried us to victory. <laughs> but um, Tish. <laughs> Okay, three, fifty-one, <laughs> dual thirty-four versus even more snake eye. Um, at the end, when I make my carry pun, put in either a rim shot sound effect or maybe the 
end of the Looney Tunes song. You know, and then Porky Pig's like, that's all, folks. I'm not a rapper, but I can cover shit. All right. Collab where you only do cards you have five plus copies of. Ah, I see. All right. Maxi draw phase. Mini game successful. I've been bamboozled. Wait, what did they set? Wait, what? Exo Sisters? All right. Hey, sister, soul sister, I wanna know, sister. Big. What's Vetus do again? Pay 800, choose an Exo Sister, then take one other from your deck, special summon both. Shuffle them for the rest of the turn. Okay, but I have to do like graveyard stuff for that to work, right? And I ain't doing graveyard shit. Yeah, like you can, you could do that. I don't care. That's cool, man. Let me read this effect exactly. If your opponent moves a card out of either graveyard, Okay. Let's get my trap. Ash. No, no, no. Not today. My royal ash trumps your regular ash. Haha. -ha. Get our trap. Uh, we'll normal summon this. Trap trick. All right, what you got now? This is their last line of defense. That's a pretty good one. Uh, all right. Uh, baller. I can fuse with face down cards. Who says I can't? Should I though? Uh, yeah, that clears the entire field, right? And it's not like these carries are doing anything. Yeah, fuck you, dude. We're balling. Big, big ballin' all of the time. They call me Johnny Three Ball. You know why. Uh, no. I have to equip face up cards. All right, we're good, we're fine. You know, mistakes were made. Um, I'm curious how Vetus works. Special summon both, shuffle them into the deck during the end phase. Okay, so they're face down. I assume they still go back. Their effects don't work, so I should be able to summon the baller out of the graveyard. 
Oh, I didn't use the effect this turn. Yeah, Baller's just stuck there. Fuck. And they don't go back. Double fuck. I'm in danger. And I can't activate this on Flip Summon. That's a weird, that's a weird, um, ruling there. Michalis, the starbird. Uh, yeah, we doing this. Get popped, idiot. Fuck. <laughs> it is I who is the idiot. This game was a learning experience. I mean, I learned that the ball can't uh, suck up face down monsters. I don't feel like that's uh, relevant most of the time. Like, if I had just waited until my opponent's turn, I would have been good. Are we playing Gold Pride this month? No, that's just an illusion. Okay, I don't want to end on that one. I made a big mistake. But now we know. And knowing is like three-fourths of the battle, maybe? Did you lose a game to a Super Heavy Samurai player with my nickname lately? No, we only played one Super Heavy Samurai player and we won. There's a lot of people whose name is hashtag ban maxi these days. You distracted me, I couldn't maxi. No! Gosh damn it. Okay, sure.
Oh, not summoning the Poplar? See, this is one of those things where, like, I would just summon Poplar, search the field spell, and then pass on that. This is a weird... Sending the Snash. You could have just... You could have done that and saved your... <laughs> monster uh do we stop this here or do we wait for them to try to summon the flamberge uh this they don't have a way to summon flamberge now Yeah, like, if you had summoned Poplar off of the thing, search the field spell, you could have just passed. Or you could have used it if you wanted to end on the Flamberge and get both of these in the graveyard. Could have done that, given me one extra draw. Instead, it looks like you're ending on fucking nothing. <laughs> just in time. <laughs> the only unfortunate thing about Shifter... Okay, so we're going to... Yeah, I care less about this being ashed. They don't seem to have ash. Um... Go for the rollerballer, right? Uh, no, we can make Pep this way. Even better. Let's activate this. Go here. Let's activate this. Let's Normal summon this. Then we can make Pep. Uh, then we can activate the Pep, pay a thousand, banish Carry and the Dia Bell Star so it don't come back. Activate the Leon. Leon brings back the mighty motorbike. In defense position. I don't think this is game, but we've got a lot of damage. Start of the battle phase. Gain a lot. 68... That's not game, and if I attacked, it would put them under my life points. And I don't want to do that. Yeah, we'll just keep Pep safe. We just pass here. Uh, we'll set this. And then we should be good. Stand by, let's put this. We don't want to blow up their own Flamberge. Ooh, ow. Uh, yeah. They get to draw a card and get a token. Rude. Oh, uh, let's see. I can make anything. I think I just want to go for the baller, though. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I might as well just blow this up. I don't know if they could synchro with it or something, but... Okay, baller slightly less effective, but still effective. Fuck. Yeah, at this point, I just gotta save it. Basically, they've already used this once, so I wait for them to summon it back, and that's where I use the start your engines. Or I use it on the, uh, the princess, right? Yeah, I use it on the princess, then they can't get that back. Then I get baller, baller sucks up anything else left on the field. Going plus five makes me feel alive. Curry Kara, okay, so if I do roller baller, they're gonna get big. I don't think they can get bigger than Pep though, and Pep's not gonna activate. Oh, that does activate. Uh, do, do, do. Tributing monsters that activated their effects on the field this turn, okay. Yeah, Kurikara can eat pep, so we need to not use that. It should only be 41. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Flamberge. Okay, yeah, we want to blow up the Flamberge. Because now they get no value from it. Oh, yeah, they just get another one. Um, six, seven, eight, what can I make? Oh, uh, nothing good. Okay. Oh, uh, let's wait for them to try to use this. End of the main phase? Yeah, we'll give them one more draw. Roller baller. Ballin'. Uh, we're gonna take Flamberge. And we're gonna take Link Karibo. Because that can... Oh, wait, we're unaffected. Yeah, I should have just... Well, they contributed off. So now they either got to use Kurikara here or threaten battle... Okay, they just use it here. But they're still not big enough. And now I can just use the effect in the damage step or in the battle phase because they've already used Kurikara. Yeah, that was a mistake. I think what you should have done is gone to battle phase, 
hope that I use the effect of the battle phase. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck, do they have Underworld Goddess? They're waiting. I feel like maybe they don't have it. If they had it, they would have summoned it immediately, right? Why were they waiting? <laughs> Sending that off. Three, they have... Okay. They're just trying to get our life points way low so we can't use any other effects, I guess. Yeah, now we can't search anything. Carrie has 900. Leon has 15. Baller has 18. I think I'm doomed either way, because Underworld Goddess can stop the Leon from getting anything back, and my chances of even getting a Leon are, like, super low. I don't think Baller can fuse with the cards and the, the thing. Yep, we were close. I'm trying to think if we misplayed that. I don't think we did. A very strange deck. Okay. But either way, we did we did much better than last time. We managed to get up into into Diamond 2. This is one of those decks where, like, you know, if we could just reach Master, I'll feel like we've succeeded at something. And we're getting pretty close. Triple Arius. Oops. Why are we not running uh, Upstart Goblin? Because... Uh, it's a UR, and I don't want to have to craft three of them. <laughs> I'm not sure with triple Arius. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Double nib is kind of sus. Yeah, a little bit. It's not that that big of a deal. Oh, the game from two games ago. 
talking about the Exo Sister deck. Yeah, three of the butler. Send this card, special summon a labyrinth, or set a normal trap from your hand. The set trap can be activated this turn. So they're just hoping to get Trap Trick, or Returnia, or Vetus. And then I guess just immediately Vetus, get two monsters out. If your opponent tries to do any kind of snake eye combos, you could fuck them over. And then they've got that combo where they summon the cards off of Vetus and then flip everything down with Karu the Daruma Cannon and then the cards aren't flipped. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense as an anti-meta deck. This is one of the few times, like, um... To be fair, again, I could have beat it if I had paid attention to what my, um... Uh, rollerballer did. I, I misplayed that one very hard. Uh, I might not... Granted, they're not trying to fight my deck. But this is one of the few times where, like... You know, I, all the time I get people who are like, Hey, hey, check out this cool new thing I've done. And it's, it's like, Morphtronic... Uh, like, a, some kind of thing where they just, like, cycle the Morphtronics to make a big extra deck monster or something. And it's like, yeah. That came out, like, a year ago. I've, I've seen that. Or they'll be like, ah, check out this cool new deck I made. And it's some variant of, like, Stun or something. Um, there's a lot of, like, newer players who think they've invented something new. And at this point, I've seen it all. But this is one of the few times I'm like, yeah, you know, that's actually neat. I haven't seen that. That's an unusual combo. I Even as experienced as I was, I wouldn't have known that the rules worked that way. I wouldn't have thought to use this in Exo Sister with, like, Daruma Karma Cannon and Vetus, that's a very neat thing. Good job. Twitch likes to kick me out sometimes? I don't know, weird. But yeah, with that, I think we're gonna call it for tonight. Thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed. If somehow you're unfamiliar with me, I'm a hard leg Joe, if in you didn't know. I'm mostly known for my YouTube channel. You can find it up there. YouTube.com slash hard leg gaming. One of the Legos will put that in the chat for you because my, my chat's pretty nice. They're good about putting the links for anyone who wants to see. And every month I climb the Master Duel ladder with a different deck as chosen by my patrons. Last month, we went full meta with Snake Eyes. This month, it's Gold Pride. I'll climb the, uh, the ladder twice a week for three weeks, and then we'll get all the best moments from that climb, edit it together, and I release, like, a three-hour-long video every month that's just, like, the ladder climb experience, a whole month's worth of stuff condensed into one highly edited video with little jokes and everything. And you can see me climb the ladder with all sorts of stuff. I've done Ojamas, Egyptian Gods, Zombies, Scareclaw. It's a fun series. People seem to really enjoy it. The Snake Eye episode, by the way, is coming out Saturday, if you're interested in that. So check that out. If you just like the streams, I'm here Tuesday and Thursday streaming the Master Duel Ladder Climb. Um, I also have a VOD channel where I post all these after the fact, so if you want to see the live show but not live or edited... There's Raw Hard Leg. You can check that out on YouTube. Someone else will put the Raw Hard Leg channel up there. Hopefully. Maybe. You should stream on YouTube as well. My computer can't handle the dual streaming. And I don't like to stream on YouTube because for some reason it throttles the quality. Like my quality is noticeably lower on the YouTube VODs. It's weird. Now, also, if, even if you're a longtime fan, you might not be familiar. I've started a new show. It's called the Deck Devastation Challenge. It's kind of like the Masochist series mixed with a Nuzlocke. I'm climbing, climbing the ladder from a fresh account. I only get like a few packs and like the starter decks. And then I can only open one pack every time I win a duel. The twist is that every time a card gets destroyed in a duel... I destroy it for real by decrafting it. So I'm trying to climb the ladder with a deck that every time a monster gets run over in battle, I have to destroy it. And I'm only allowed to open packs when I win. 
It's very interesting. I streamed that climb on Friday, so if you show up here tomorrow, you can see the progress on that. If you want to see the previous episodes, already up on my channel. That sounds so funny. I think it's funny. I'm really looking forward to the, uh, the next episode. The next episode, uh, if you're curious about that, it'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. And that's the one where I decide to, to make a crawler deck. Because that's all I have is, like, crawlers. And I'm like, I know this isn't going to last very long. The crawlers are like flip monsters. They're made to be destroyed by battle. <laughs> Every single duel stuff is lost. And I will say, there's a moment there where, like, you know, I'm down in bronze. I'm not fighting the best decks. But someone summons Time Wizard. And my heart stops. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> if they win this coin toss, everything on my field is destroyed forever. <laughs> it is the most tense Time Wizard I have ever had. So you can check that out also on the YouTube channel.